all right you guys welcome back thanks for tuning in to another video so like i said to you guys in the last video when i showed you guys how to do some spot fixing with the garden weasel here well this is day two i came out the temps are actually getting warm like i told you guys in the past that the temps are warming up so i feel a lot more comfortable coming out and doing some spot fixing planting some grass seed and getting that going so today i actually came out and got a cut got my first cut on the lawn because it was growing in real nice but it was growing in real straggly and uneven so i came out got my first mow on it and for the most part the first mow went wonderful now in the back here the back is a little thin it ain't popping in as fast as the front the front it came in wonderful it looks great i don't really have to do any spot fixing up there maybe little minor spots but that's if you you know if i'm kind of being picky about it but for the most part the back is where it's kind of moving a little at a slower pace back here but that's due to the soil temps the sun doesn't really shine as bright back here all day long it's the perfect time to come out now and do some spot fixing so i'm gonna take you guys around the yard show you guys the side yard also i did a little spot fixing over there so i'm gonna go over that also but for the most part, this garden weasel, like I said, is gonna be your best friend right now in spring. You guys saw me fix part of this left side here, and you saw that I used some peat moss when I put down my grass seed. I like to use peat moss. You don't have to use peat moss, but I like to use peat moss for a few reasons because it is a covering agent for me so the birds don't attack the seed. And it also helps the grass seed stay moist a lot longer so you don't have to always come out and water right now temps are cool so you don't really have to worry about the seeds drying out too fast but that's why i like to use peat moss now some of you guys were disputing that and you don't like to use peat moss well i'm telling you what the reason why i like to use it so you know you guys do what works for you but right now like i said i came out mowed the yard got everything cut down because when the yard was a little thicker that uh, grass was a little taller it made it look like it was thicker but now that i got it down to a height i cut it actually about two and a half uh inches here now i only cut it this low during this part of the season i would never cut the my tall fescue down two to two and a half inches in the summertime because it, it won't last it'll burn out so i like cutting my fescue tall normally around three and a half to four inches so but right now since it's early early spring you can get away with a low cut but that's the um the only reason why i cut it this low is because now i can see the whole yard and see a lot of the imperfections in the yard now this side over here is popping in real nice as you guys can see it's turning really really green i'm very proud with this side but this is where the sun normally hits at from this uh angle here that i'm pointing with the garden weasel so this side gets a lot more sun and it pops in a lot faster. So that side is actually ready to go. Now I haven't put any fertilizer down. Like I said, the, the grass is just cracking out of dormancy. So I'm not gonna put down no high nitrogen fertilizer just yet. I'm letting the lawn do its own thing, but you can go ahead and feed the yard with a light fertilizer, a low nitrogen fertilizer. That'll be your best friend at this point in the season if you're in a climate like me now my temps are still not as consistent yet we're just hitting the mid 50s i'm gonna get some uh 60 degree days later on this week but you don't want to push too much growth too fast going down with the big boy fertilizer just yet so that's just a little quick tip there so but right now this area right here is coming in very very slow um, you can see some green in there, but it's a lot of brown. Now, I took a rake, started raking it up a little bit, and some of that brown did come out in uh, big clumps, and that means that the brown grass, you know, was dead grass, but some of the grass stayed. Now, brown doesn't always mean that the grass is dead. It just means that it's still kind of dormant. It didn't pop back in yet, but if you take a light rake, like a fine time rake, and you rake it lightly and it does pull out, then yes, it was dead. So i'm gonna go ahead this area is a little on the thin side so i'm gonna go ahead and use this garden weasel break up the soil a little bit throw down some uh some grass seed and just let it do its thing because this side i want to thicken up a little bit more so all right you guys so got my grass seed there so this is the spot that i'm gonna be working in this spot was a little on the thinner side after i did that little light rake some of the dead grass some of this stuff came up some of the brown grass is still there that means it's dormant 
and it got a nice root system so it will pop back in green eventually but when i was raking it did take up some of them little spots so it's on the thinner side so i want to go ahead and correct that right now so like i said you're going to use one of these garden weasels and it's very very simple like i said anybody can do it it's not a lot of not a lot of force or pressure needed you're just going to take it and roll it back and forth roll it back and forth to break up the soil and like i said you don't it doesn't take a lot So now that I'm breaking the soil up, I can go ahead, take some grass seed and throw it down. Now today I won't be using the peat moss in this area because it's surrounded by grass and I really don't need the peat moss right here as a covering agent or keeping it moist. But if you guys got the bare spot like I showed you in the first video, peat moss is a wonderful option. Now if you guys are on a little hill or anything, then you might want to use something else to keep the seed in place and I would recommend maybe straw or something of that nature straw with tacker fire tacker fire is like a little it's like a little sticky agent that'll help once the straw gets wet it'll help keep the straw in place which will help keep the grass seed in place so as you guys can see threw down the grass seed now all I'm gonna do right now is just roll it in And this is very simple now you guys this tool is only for spot fixing and if you have a big area a big backyard that you're trying to oversee the whole yard then i don't recommend using this garden weasel i recommend going ahead and getting like an aerator or something of that nature even um a dethatcher you can dethatch the yard and oversee this right here would be a lot of work trying to manually like do this uh garden weasel on the whole yard I don't recommend it but I mean if you guys want to you can just take your time if you guys got a lot of time you can definitely use this garden weasel but it's gonna take you a lot longer and just make sure if you are gonna use it don't put your body under a lot of physical stress don't cause no physical harm to yourself trying to get the yard up to up to par you know this this will do the job but for bigger, bigger jobs, I don't recommend it. This is only for spot fixing. If you got little spot fixes that you need to use or you want to actually thicken up like I'm doing right now, you can also use this garden weasel inside the gardens. If you're trying to plant stuff, this will help, this will help you out big time. So that's just a little, little food for thought there, you guys. Don't go out there in the whole yard and say, I'm going to use this garden weasel on 3,000 square feet or something of that nature. It might not turn out too well for you guys. But as you guys see, once I rolled it in, now I'm just patting it down just to make sure I get good seed to soil contact. And this spot is all set. So let's go ahead and show you the side of the house and how that's actually turning out. But as you guys can see, this little area is done now all you need to do now is just keep it moist water 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 14 to 21 days you'll start seeing little grass seeds little uh, grass seeds germinating and by like i said 21 to 28 days you should be able to start feeding the lawn cutting it regularly and moving on so let's go ahead to the side of the house and let me show you guys how that's actually looking last year i went out I garden till this whole yard broke the soil up on this side of the house and planted some grass seed down and for the most part it started to grow in real nice actually came out by the end of the season got a nice cut on it but as you guys can see early spring here well after winter early spring this is the results it's not looking too good so I'm going ahead and I went ahead and started to break up some of the soil with the grass seed I'm in with the garden weasel right here threw some seed down rolled it in now on this little side yard it was fine the soil wasn't too bad it was soft so I was able to use the garden weasel here on this side but like I said if you guys got a big large large area I would not recommend using the garden weasel 
go ahead and get something like an aerator if you guys can't do an aerator on your on your own then you might have to have somebody like a lawn service come out aerate the yard and oversee for you but this is just strictly for little patches little spot fixing and you know you'll get the job done but this is what i want to show you guys i know a lot of you asked how it actually turned out and this is how it looks so far so so far not too good looking but we're going to give it some time like i said i came out started fixing it up a little bit throwing some seed down so we're going to see how it's going to look in 20 20 about 21 days and see if i can actually get this side yard up to par now since like i said that that tree is gone i should get a little bit more sunshine over here so that should help out this side yard a little bit better but i don't know it's going to be a big challenge to get this actual uh, grass to actually grow on this side all season long so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know in the comment section what you guys are planning to do this spring are you guys using this garden weasel method and doing a little spot fixing or are you guys doing a whole lawn renovation let me know in the comment section um let me know also how you think my lawn is turning out also i think it's turning out pretty well besides the little patch fixing that i'm doing right now but hopefully by may everything will be popped back in looking good and we'll be ready to roll so but let me know in the comment section about that also like the video subscribe to the channel if you guys want to stay in tune with me all season long and see the results or if you just want some little form of entertainment so hope you guys enjoy take care and get in that lawn and fix it up so i'll see you again